Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. What we have done just now was the subtraction, so 5k plus 1 minus 5k. But sometimes the above approach does not work. Instead of obtaining an expression for 5k plus 1 minus 5k, we obtain an expression for 5k plus 1 plus gamma 5k, where gamma represent any integer which is not a multiple of the divisor. So let us try to use this in this example. We want to prove that 2 to the power of 6n plus 3 to the power of 2n minus 2 is divisible by 5 for all positive integer n. So we first let 5n equals to 2 to the power of 6n plus 3 to the power of 2n minus 2. Then we move on to the first step, which is the proposition again. So pn is 5n is divisible by 5 for some positive integer n. Second step, proof P1. So let n equals to 1, 5, 1 equals to 2 to the power of 6 plus 3 to the power of 0, which is equal to 65. And 65 is divisible by 5, hence P1 is true. And now the third step, we want to assume that pk is true. And the fourth step, let us try the addition method. So 5k plus 1 plus gamma 5k equals to 2 to the power of 6 times k plus 1 plus 3 to the power of 2k plus gamma times 5k which is 2 to the power of 6k plus 3 to the power of 2k minus 2 and then we know that 2 to the power of 6 is 64 3 to the power of 2 is 9 So now we factorize out the 2 to the power of 6k, so we got 64 plus gamma, and we factorize out 3 to the power of 2k minus 2, and we obtain 9 plus gamma for it. So what we do next is to choose gamma equals to 1, and this gives psi k plus 1 plus psi k equals to 65 times 2 to the power of 6k plus 10 times 3 to the power of 2k minus 2. And both 65 and 10 are divisible by 5. So 5k plus 1 plus 5k is divisible by 5. And we know that pk is true because we have assumed that. So if pk is true, 5k is true, 
so pk plus 1 is true as psi k plus 1 must be true as well. And again, the final statement, since P1 is true, P2 is true, and by induction, Pn is true for all positive integer n. Okay, now we are going to look at how to prove a proposition concerning a sequence of numbers defined by a given recurrence relation using proof by induction. So in this example, it wants us to show that un is bigger than 5 for all positive integer n. And it also wants us to show that un plus 1 is less than un. So, let us start with the first statement, Pn. So, Pn, which is Un is larger than 5 for some positive integer n. And then we try 1. So, U1 is 10. It has given us in the question. So, we know that P1 is true. And that's the second step. Fairly straightforward. And what about the third step? The third step is also very simple. You just have to assume pk is true, which is uk must be larger than 5. And the fourth step is to prove pk plus 1. So this is a different way. We subtract 5 to see if it is larger than 0. So uk plus 1, since it must be bigger than 5 as well, so uk plus 1 minus 5, and we know what uk plus 1 is. So it equals to 1 minus 8 over uk plus 3. Okay, and then, which is equal to uk minus 5 over uk plus 3, and it must be larger than 0. Because we know that uk is bigger than 5, so something bigger than 5 minus 5 must be positive, and something bigger than 5 plus 3 is always positive, so the whole thing is positive. So pk plus 1 is true. So the last statement is the same again. Since p1 is true, p2 is true, and by induction, pn is true for all positive integer n. So for the second part of the question, it wants us to show that un plus 1 is smaller than un. So since it must be smaller, we know that un plus 1 minus un. Copy down un plus 1, which is 6 minus 8 over un plus 3 and minus un. And then we can simplify this equation. So make it into a single fraction. We have 6 times un plus 18 minus 8 minus un times un plus 3 over un plus 3 which can be further simplified as 10 plus 3 un minus un squared over un plus 3 and the quadratic equation can be solved and we have 5 minus un times un plus 2 over un plus 3 and we know that un must be bigger than 5 so 5 minus something bigger than 5 it must be a negative value 
and the rest remain positive. So we have a negative times positive divided by positive. And so we know that this fraction is a negative number. Therefore, we can safely say that un plus 1 is smaller than un. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genie has got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.